All right, YouTube family, we're well, going. Maverick in the place and the space again, you know. Yeah, time for some more out of the box reasoning. When you ready? Me ready. <laughs> All right, so top runner, Sherika Jackson. She won third up on the London Diamond League. She won 1094. She got beaten by Marie Jose Talu. What, 1075? And I think Dina Asha Smith, the home girl, run 1085. Sherika run third. Obviously, when you see the race, you see Sherika cruise. Look like she cruise from about 50, 60, basically. Drive fears and she come up, and then she start cruise. All right. Flashback to the big clash between Shakari Richardson and Sherika Jackson. We all know the world uh, I try to decipher whether Sherika run through for merit and Shakari run past and beat her or <laughs> Sherika pull up. All right, when I say pull up, I mean she ease down. She don't run to her full potential. All right. Flashback even further now. In the days when Shelly and Fraser Price in her hockey, when she named, well, she still named Shelly and Fraser Price, too, but in her year day, in her the middle of her prime, but when she win, when she up her MVP and Frano Alvarez, the main star athlete. In the middle of this tendency in a preseason, building up to especially a world championship and Olympic year, when when Shelly them are run for the diamond circuit and they are run to full potential, there was one notorious race where Shelly act like pepper, like fire pepper, and build up. I don't remember who she had clash with in the race. But Shelly go to the race and run 50, execute 50, and basically walk the rest of the race. Big diamond league, you know, people. Now, this obviously, in the DNA in front of preparation for him athlete them for big championship event. What's up wrong with it? It's a bad upon unprofessional and it's it might deceive the promoter them and more importantly the fans when we are watching the race. You know, a friend of the general coach, or the world general coach, or my general coach, or the biggest coach of the business. But this is a chink in the armor. Look here, when people pay their money, and you know, since the incident here, we go do some research for the Diamond League ticket prices them in Europe. A 75 and 65 and, and them pound for a ticket to go watch them race, you know. You have some, some cheaper ticket, but generally 65, 75, 80, 80 pounds for your Diamond League ticket. You you, you, when, you, when you do so and, and calculate at about what, 12, 15, nearly 20,000 Jamaican dollars, you have an idea what the ticket price them cost. Now, me as a fan of track and field now, I have no interest, well, me have no interest, but I'm not, me, me not coming to watch the World Championship final. I'm you know. not coming to watch the Olympic final. You know. We're not coming for watch a training session. A friend and a big athlete them are prepared for the World Championship or the Olympic Games. Me come for watch a Diamond League race as promoted. And we expect every runner for run to merit. Now, me put it to you. Say something wrong. If especially, you know, when he's a top flight athlete, you know, big at runner, you know, favorite, you know. Yep. Top of the building at, in terms of the promotion, you know. And when me as a fan, whether me I watch it from my TV, but what's pure thought for the one who pay the money and go in and steal them, go watch it. The man, I mean, I we watch it from them TV, we have we have a problem with it, you know. But me, they, me pay my money going in the stadium if you go watch this people. Eh? I'm mean, this athlete around 30 and 40 meters and stop around 80 meters and, and shut down. No! I don't that me pay my money for. That is unprofessional if you ask me. I mean, from the half do what I'm doing, you know. Him, I have to prepare him athlete them to peak at the big international world championship and Olympic Games. He said it. That is where athletes really strike the, the jackpot in terms of earning potential when you perform and execute and win on them big stage. But people, it's a separate event when me pay to go watch the London Diamond League or the, the Diamond League in a Stockholm or any one of the Diamond League circuit them. When me pay my cable money to get my TV put on so that me can watch the Diamond League, me no watch it for see Shelly run 50 meter or for watch Sherika run 75 and chuckle. Me watch, me watch it for see the clash. You yeah, me think it about up and fraudulent for athlete not running to merit in a them event. Yeah. And me I wonder to myself, you know, if I mean, alright, the Diamond League people, they are to have in a them contract. So if an athlete don't run to potential, you know, you'll you get half of your money or something like that, you know. 
I don't know, I don't know how nobody not talk about it. Well, I guess the Maverick or somebody. But I talk about it. And it a, it's a trend where it happens. And it's kind of specific to MVP most of the time. Because you know? I don't see no other. Nobody do it with a prevalence. Away. My friend will do it with him. I treat them. But it's a trend where we notice and we almost come to accept. But we should not come to accept it, basically. If you collect your big appearance fee money, you negotiate your appearance fee. Because you have the top athlete, you have the Olympic champion, you have the artist printer in the world. So you're in a strong negotiating position. This, you know? And when you negotiate for that fee, day, based on where your athlete are coming into the event, and where your athlete, where your athlete build up over the years, the resume of your athlete, and the reputation of your athlete, and the competence of your athlete, and then you come at the event now when we negotiate for with all of them factors, you know. I underperform deliberately. Something wrong with that in principle. It was a Diamond League promoter. I don't stand for it. Any kind of promoter couldn't stand for that. Now we have a big up front of for the white. I go there and prepare that to them. Because worlds, but the Diamond Leagues and these races that are independently promoted and paid for, the, the fans, forget the promoter. The promoter, them for deal with them business. Me, me not dealing with them business. Me not talk as a fan. Me not come when you think when you think build up and you think promote. And me come to watch my race between Shakira and Sherika. Me not come to see none of them underperform and I play possum. And me I say, on the face of it, what is happening here is bordering and fraudulent. Think about we the fans. Think about the paying public. As me said, if I did up to me, as a, if I was a promoter, you'd have to talk to me properly, you know. Can me restructure a contract before me say anything. You know? If you don't come, if me can make a case, say the athlete don't run to merit, me suppose he can get back half of my money. Yeah. Because me assign you. Under the, not the assumption, me assign you with, with, a, with a mandate, with an obligation, say the athlete can perform to merit. You get what I say to you? Yeah, man, this is bothering you know? me. I don't know. Me think it's insulting too. It's insulting and it's arrogant. And we think that's something we need to fix. And we, so, well, at least we, we first need to acknowledge it. And we need to talk about it. So we have to talk about it. That's something that they clear in front of you. Know? And as, as, as we said a while ago, we have come to accept it as the norm too long. When you look at the two most recent races, the one with Sherika and Shakari, the 1078, 1076. Yeah, because the time is so relatively close. It's hard to, to tell definitively, say, yo, you know, that 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 no run through, you know, that no run Sherry can run through, you know, Sherry can ease up, you know. When you look on the one up at London now, 1094, but we look like a fast track. It look like a fast track, you know. 1094 pan a track with Talua run 1075. If Sherry can run flat out at 106, Sherry can run. And that one is more obvious. Because you can see the ease up. And you can see the lack of effort when the rest of the field join her. You can see she, she just back off and just stay so. I mean no. We know the last diamond, this is the last diamond before the world championship. You know, mind games are play, you execute particular parts. We know the preparation, Jagan, you know. Remember, see something we have seen over the years with Fran, you know. We understand the principle, you know, how we're going, you know. But there's another angle to it. Fans are being cheated, my boss. And if I might say to so myself, promoters are being cheated. I remember saying, it's not. Jamaican fans probably will be a little bit more tolerant of it, you know. Because we don't appreciate the value of front of doing this with a means to an end. For them peak and bomb at the right, the big race and them this and the. But what about the other fans over here, Jamaica fans? People who are track and field fans. With the, 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 the wider strategy there, no matter to them either way, them just come to see the passes running at the, the world. Run. Them come to see the artist printer of the business run and run through to merit. What do you say? Talk to me, YouTube fam. Valid point or not so valid point. In fact, forget about that. Nobody can convince. This is a valid point. Yeah? <laughs> Tell me what you think in the comment section. A real thing. Think out of the box. You don't have to think far out of the box. We recognize it. But at least we are name it and we are identified and we are